Kansa was in utmost distress on hearing that Detki's eighth child was safe. He decided to find a way to kill the baby boy and sought the help of fearful demoness named Putana. Putana was a scary-looking demoness with long hair, long nails, teeth protruding out of her mouth and blood-red tongue. Since Kansa did not know where Krishna is, he asked Putana to kill all children below the age of 10 days in his kingdom. Putana readily accepted the task as the killings would make people in the kingdom fear her. She then went about killing all babies around Krishna's age. She then finally reached Krishna's village and heard about Yashoda's son who was believed to be special. The evil demoness realized that the child must be Krishna. Kansa had warned Putana that Krishna is no ordinary child and that it would not be able to kill him easily. So, she transformed herself into a beautiful maiden to deceive the villagers and Krishna's parents. Before she went to his home, she poisoned her breasts with the venom of a deadly snake. On reaching Krishna's house, she greeted everyone politely and asked Yashoda if she could feed the young boy. Unaware of the ill intentions of the disguised demoness, Yashoda allows her to feed him. Putana takes Krishna to the backyard and starts feeding him poisonous milk. She then felt like the baby was sucking the life out of her. She tried to release the baby's mouth, but Krishna had held on to her tightly. She then transformed herself into a demoness to scare the baby. Krishna did not budge. So she flew up in the air, hoping to get the boy to let go. But Krishna sucked the life out of her and she fell to the ground. The villagers were petrified by the scene and rushed to save Krishna. They found the little boy happily smiling and playing on the demoness body. Please like and share my video and also subscribe my channel.